Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is Introduction to Psychology Part 1 PSY 312 by Dear Knowledge. Today in this video we will be studying the case history method, or you can say it's a case study method in the methods of psychology. Since case study is also a descriptive method, so we have included it in descriptive methods. First, we have discussed the observation, which is naturalistic observation and laboratory observation. So the next uh, topic will be the case studies. As we have already discussed the definition of descriptive methods, that it is scientific procedures that involve systematically observing behavior in order to describe the relationships among behavior and events. So descriptive methods are the research methods used to observe and describe behavior. So, let's start the case study. The definition of a case study involves study of one individual in great detail. Case studies. Case study is also an important method in, employed in psychological studies. It is mostly used in clinical situations. For, the, for this reason, often case study is also known as clinical method. Case study involves study of a particular case, the individual one at a time, and this method emphasis is given on in-depth study of a particular case. So, the psychologist focus on the cases which can provide critical information or new learning uh, on less understood phenomena. You can say the case study is another descriptive technique is called a case study in which one individual is studied in great detail. In case study, researchers try to learn everything they can about that individual. The case can be an individual with certain distinguishing characteristics, for example, patient with psychological disorder, or you can say a small group of individuals showing some commonness. For example, creative writers, institutions, poorly or successful functioning, and specific events, for example, devastations, tsunami, war, or bomb blasting, events by terrorists. This, the cases selected for the study are usually unique and therefore can provide rich information. Case study method in clinical cases involve preparation of the life history of the case by collecting information from various sources. In a case study, researchers try to learn everything they can know about that individual. For example, Sigmund Freud based his entire theory of psychoanalysis on his numerous case studies of his patients in which he gathered psychoanalysis and gathered information uh, about their childhoods and relationships with others from the very beginning of their life to the present. The advantage of the case study is tremendous amount of detail it provides. It may also be the only way to get certain kinds of information. For example, one of the famous case study was the story of Phineas Gage, who had a red uh, railroad spike driven through his head and suffered a major personality change as a result. So researchers couldn't study that with naturalistic observations and an experiment is out of the question. So the disadvantage of the case study is that researchers can't really apply the results to other similar people. In other words, they can't assume that if one person had the same kind of experiences growing up that he or she would turn or just like the person in the other case study. So people are unique and have too many complicating factors in their life to be to be that predictable. So what researchers find in one case and won't necessarily apply or generalize to another or to other cases. So this was the disadvantages of the case studies. This was the end of the video. If you like the video, you got your concept, your concept was clear, you can like the video and to stay notified for the upcoming videos, you can subscribe our channel. 
you can share this video so other people can get help because sharing is caring. Till then, Allah Hafiz.